Richard Canyon in Wenatchee, Washington. My name is Susan Ballinger. And my name is Jane Zanol. And this is one of the very best places to come birding in the Wenatchee Valley. And why is that? Well, we have three or four habitat types all coming together here. And it's early morning, so we have really nice light. But we have this ribbon of riparian habitat with black cottonwood and big leaf maple. There's a little tiny permanent sprint stream running down the bottom here that supports 30 kinds of shrubs. There's lots of fruits, lots of flowers. So there's lots of places to hide. In the whole western U.S., these are called emerald isles in the shrub step. What I like too is the way the hills rise up beyond the creek and they're dotted with sagebrush, and then right behind us, we have this really great cliff and talus habitat. So we're listening for rock wren and canyon wren. Usually violet green swallows are flying above. So we really have four habitat types coming together. It's an ideal time and place to bird. We like to come in the spring, especially. Let's, let's listen a minute and see what we're hearing. Got a song sparrow tucked down in. I heard a yellow warbler. And the lazuli buntings are calling just up the road a bit. A little bit later we'll walk up. They're often perched on the telephone line so you get a really good look with the blue sky behind them. I hear a California quail. Earlier this week we had a great horned owl uh, resting up in the black cottonwood. That was an exciting moment when Susan spotted that. A couple days ago, we did have a golden eagle being pursued by a black-billed black magpie very low across the hills, and the magpie looked tiny. So that's what kind of alerted us to the fact that it was maybe a golden eagle because of the size comparison. Shall we walk down and look at the rocks, Susan? Yeah, let's go do that. So we heard the canyon wren singing a little farther up the slope. And way up in the sky, I see the violet green swallows that nest here also. That's a safe baby fly catching up there. Oh, neat. Okay, I hear a bunting right here. Oh, terrific. Oh, it's so loud. It's behind us. And there's a chipping sparrow getting loud. Oh, beautiful song that sparrow. That is beautiful. This is one of the few places in the world where you can hear a song sparrow and then just up the hill a vesper sparrow that has a similar call. Oh, there is the bunting. Or somebody's moving over. I see a branch moving, Jane, just down here. Okay. Um, below the, there's a cottonwood that's moving to the right. Oh, there's a goldfinch, there's a goldfinch that, that came in. Maybe that was the female goldfinch coming in. There's that potato chip call from the goldfinch in flight. Well, the gold, I'm looking at the clematis bloom down here. That, that the, the material that the seeds were dispersed on that's still hanging on there, that is a nesting material for the goldfinch. Wow. So this is a spot they can start building a nest. Is that a black-headed girl speak? I mean, certainly I've become a better birder coming up here with you. I hear the chucker. Ooh. There's a marmot. Two marmots wrestling. Oh, Are neat. they wrestling? <laughs> Are they mating? I hope. Well, wouldn't that add to the video? Oh, now there's yeah. three. Yeah. Three marmots. Four. So that's what the golden eagles are looking for. Is that is two oriole male just flew in. Did he sing for us? He made a squeak. A bullock oriole. I love that bird. Bright orange. It's just kind of exciting to think that these birds have flown 2,500 miles all the way from the western mountains of Mexico up here to breed. I hear it. How terrific. It's going to be hard to see him in this thick layer of vegetation, but I love looking down into this little open alcove 
Okay, I just heard the chat. It's just up the hill here. I love the yellow-breasted chat. Let's go see if we can get a glimpse of that. Great. The male. Yeah. 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 And we've got a toey on the right and the uplands and a chat on the left. Oh, there he is. Second, they purpose. make five different columns, yeah. so we've heard two so far. Mm -hmm. And the third call. <laughs> How fun! That's the policeman whistle call. Yay! <laughs> Susan, I think our time is coming to a close. We've got yes. to get back to town and yeah. to real life. Yes, darn. This is so much fun. Well, next week, same time, same place. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> I'm Jane Zanol. And I'm Susan Ballinger. We're both seasoned trip leaders and volunteers for North Central Washington Audubon Society and for BirdFest. Uh, thanks to WRI for helping us share this bird experience with everyone.